but he needs you. He has been in this fight. I've known Brad for more than five years through this work. To think about what it woke up, what it felt like to wake up and start your day and then, then have this happen here, when you've been fighting this hard for this many years, he needs you too. So please have his back, not just in the days to come, in the months and weeks and years to come when he is fighting for all of us. I want to thank Rachel Jacoby. Um, I have a lot, I've only gotten to know Rachel in the, since I think Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, we've had many phone calls since then. But I can say without a doubt that Rachel is the best of Highland Park. My name is Karen Fliegler, but some of you who grew up around here in the 70s, 80s, 90s might have known me as Karen Myers. I was a shy kid with curly hair, awkward, growing up here when, you know, Sunset Park, when I, I climbed on the structures here at, at Park District Day Camp and went to Lincoln School, went to Edgewood and Highland Park High School and graduated in 1993. I bring Highland Park with me to you today in my work as co-lead of Illinois Moms to Man Action with my co-lead Valerie Burgest. Five years ago, I stood in front of a room just over in Northbrook after the 2016 presidential election. I was wearing this shirt. I spoke to a room full of people who were terrified and angry about what had just happened in that election. I looked at them and told them that this was the NRA's hire. The NRA spent $50 million on the 2016 election, a number that's dwarfed in today's figures, but shows you exactly what they were doing. Shortly later, when the president met with advisors to select his first pick for a Supreme Court seat, NRA President Wayne LaPierre was directly to his right. Those are NRA hires. Boo. Yes, boo, exactly. It's totally okay to boo the NRA. But it's more than that. It's a more complicated story. It's a story that you're hearing many angles on today. And it's about all of us recognizing that the way we live is not tenable. And that it will take all of us to change this. I'm not just blaming Republicans. I am not just blaming Democrats. I'm not blaming independents. I'm not blaming people of a certain gender or people of a certain age. We all have a role to make change. And if you think I'm not talking to you, I am. I'm here today for those who have lost loved ones to gun violence who I know personally. I'm remembering Alexandria Burgos and Craig Williams and Ricky Pike and Don Schemmel and too many to name. It breaks my heart that my hometown has joined this club that nobody wants to join. Sometimes it makes me feel like what I'm doing isn't mattering. But I have my moment, I wipe out the tears, and I get up and I keep going because this wall will come down. I want to look you in the eye now though and say, this will change. I know it will. Because I have to tell you, we are all really pissed off. We are a force pushing on that wall to come down and it is taking too long, but it will come down. And because I know, because it will have all of us pushing. All of our words today have been beautiful and incredible and important in our music. But I'm here to give you some actions to take. So pull out your phones. I also want you to know after we're, we're wrapping up, there are actions over here. There's an activity center where you can take specific actions because we have to turn our words into pounding the pavement with actions.
Number one, push the Illinois legislature to prioritize gun violence prevention in a special session. This must happen. Don't assume it will. Make it happen. Contact your state representatives, your state senators. Ask everybody you know to do so. Call the people leading the Senate and the leading the House in our state and say we want a special session prioritizing gun violence prevention. <laughs> Two, ask your state representatives and senators to vote yes on HB 5522. This bill was put by my friend, State Representative Maura Hershauer, and has more than 35 co-sponsors. It will ban military-style weapons, including assault weapons and attachments, 50-gauge caliber rifles and cartridges, and magazines with more than 10 rounds. Weapons of war have no place here. Three. Ask everyone you know in Illinois to do the same, to ask their state, state senators and state representatives to, to support HB 5522 and push for a special session. Because I will tell you, I know this, our state representatives and our state senators are already doing the right thing. We need people across the state to be pushing for these actions. You know people, tell them. The bill will not get called if it doesn't have the votes. We need to get to a solid 71 votes in the House and 36 in the Senate. It is going to take all of us to get there. We will do it, but we have to push for it. Number four, join us. Join the movement. We are a movement not just of moms, not just of parents, Friends, loved ones, people who have experienced all kinds of gun violence. We want everybody in this movement. We want gun owners. We want reasonable gun owners who are not represented enough in this country. We want all of you helping us. If you want to organize with Moms Demand Action, text the word READY to 64433. Do it now. Join March for Our Lives. Sign up with our co-organizing organizations today are doing such good work to get candidates on the ballot, to get out the vote. Sign up, join the movement. I want you to know that Giffords, Every Town for Gun Safety, GPAC and more are looking at Illinois gun laws and the gaps and focusing on finding solutions. You are not left alone, but you need to join us. You will likely feel overwhelmed by the choices of what to do. Do it anyways. Go forward. Pick what's right for you. Pick the type of work that's right for you. It's okay if you need to take a break, but keep going. Don't let perfection be the enemy of progress. Pick something and go hard, and don't ever let up. Don't ever, ever give up. I want to quote uh, one of my favorite quotes um, because this is important too and I need you to hear this too. Anna Marquez Green was killed in Sandy Hook. She was a little girl, she was full of life and her mom always says to remember Anna because Anna told her don't let your fun circuits run dry. Remember to be alive, be human. We're about to invite you to take some actions over here at our activity center and we're going to, I'm going to be telling you about uh, some music. Uh, Derek Purcell and Terry Abramson, who are Chicago area residents and Grammy Award winning artists, who have had a song on the Blues Music Award Album of the Year. They were, going to share, or they were going to share with you their song, No Guns in Heaven, a direct call to action for people in Congress who aren't getting the job done. You can scan their QR code here at the activities table to see their really powerful video. So as we close out today, please go take actions over at our activities table. 
But I want to ask you one last question, and I ask you this, because we are honoring seven people who are not here today, but it is not just seven people. It is the thousands around them. And we are honoring the millions of people affected by gun violence every day, whether in Highland Park or all across this country, in Waukegan, Zion, North Chicago, everywhere. I want to ask you, and I need to hear you, are you fired up and ready to go? That was pretty good. <laughs> Are you fired up and ready to go? <laughs> Don't forget this moment. Don't forget these people. Don't forget, forget all the words you have heard today. Keep the fire burning. Thank you.